Okay, motor's out. You can see the inside the gearbox housing there. Just a couple of quick tips. If you've got your motor out, it's well worth changing the water pump. We have a water pump here, they always tend to go. It's well worth doing that while it's out. Same with the um, core plugs or freeze plugs as some people call them, especially this one here in the back. They always go. Look at that. Actually, as I'm rubbing that, you can just see that one's starting. It's, it's gone, basically. Um, and they are just about impossible to change once the um, engine's back in. You'll see people coming through the firewalls to get to them. Same with the um, clutch and the pressure plate. Best to change both if you can. Um, and what I do is when I'm refitting the refitting them, um, I use uh, just the um, output shaft of a gearbox just as a positioner. So you can put slide that in the hole with the pressure plate around it and bolt that up. And then that way it's in the perfect position. If not, you can use things like a socket and put a socket in here, just keep everything lined up. And when you do this up, you know, just do it up bit by bit at, at a time. Um, your manual will tell you all that stuff. But I hope that helps. Okay, I thought I'd show you just how to get this core plug out. It's not going to go really well, or it's going to go really bad. But um, just put a screwdriver through it. Put stuff to one side. You have this was supported somewhere so it's not bouncing around. Some of them can be really tricky depending on how long they've been in there. Let's just persist with it. Like that. That's the old one out. Get a bit of a clean in there. Clean. A lot of people say about not putting them in with anything, but I like to put just a little bit of sealant in with it. Trust me, you don't want to get this up back in position and then find it's just weeping or something. Yeah, make yourself. So I just use a very thin sealant. Just help the plug slide in a little bit too. It always seems really scary to do this, but when you've done it a few times, it's actually quite easy. That's a cool plug. Um, make sure you do get the brass ones. Don't get the steel ones um, off eBay. You can get these at Rebco, places like that. They're already available. Um, just a socket, about the same size. You don't have to go too crazy. That's it. It's a little quick job you can do while the motor's out. And trust me, it's really, really worth doing. Okay, hope that helped. Okay, you got these core plugs out. Just give you an idea of what it could be like inside your motor. Look at all this. Just build up over the years. Well, we're giving it a flush out, I think, before we put the new plugs in. Look at that. Well worth doing. Okay, clutch has been done, core plugs are done, water pump's done. Um, just with these bolts, heat them up before you take them out. Spend half an hour if you have to, just slowly go around heating them up, take your time. That way you won't snap a bolt. And when you put them back in, um, just be sure to use a bit of copper grease. Um, you'll really appreciate that in the future if you have to take it back out. Um, we put a bit of paint on the motor just to pre it up, like with the sump and everything. But just because the motor's painted doesn't mean it's reconditioned. The difference between a reconditioned motor and a pretty motor is probably about $5,000. So just because the motor's painted don't make you think it's been reconditioned. There's a few people who try to board that old chestnut.